Lord, I give you praise and glory. I thank you, Lord, for the 2024 presidential election, Senate and House elections, all the elections, and everything around the elections. We give you praise and glory. I'm going to release some things about the, this 2024 election. I'm going to be prophesying some things. I'm going to be just speaking some things that I have on my heart. I'm going to talk about some truths as a man of God. And everything is going to be of very vital importance. If you only watch one video of, of Revival Ways of Glory Ministries and, and, and of Bill Vincent, I really pray that this is the one because this is something that is going to help you really fine tune what is really going on. Hallelujah. So we're going to get into it. God bless you. Stay right here. Click the lead at the bottom or just stay here and we'll get right into it. God bless you. It's uh, late October 2024. It's been a long road. You know, around 2015, I believe it was, as soon as Donald Trump made the decision that he was going to run for president, God told me that he was going to win the 2016 election and be the president. And I'm telling you, I was one of few that was saying that in the very beginning. But I want you to understand something. It wasn't because I liked him or I liked his shows. I really didn't like The Apprentice. I didn't like things like that. I didn't, and it's not that I disliked the person. I just didn't like what, what he was doing. Hallelujah. I mean, so I hadn't, I wasn't a fan. I wasn't a follower. <laughs> didn't even really know his social medias or anything else. But whenever he announced that he was running for president, God said he was going to win. And then whenever he got through some things and, and, and got through all the Republican nominees and had all the different stuff, and they began to try to expose everything right away. Hallelujah. And you got to understand, here's the thing I want you to think about. Donald Trump was one of the most loved people in America and around the world prior to him running for president. He was on The View, very loved. People on that show loved and respected him. We'd give him a kiss on the cheek and invite him on the show. People like Oprah, all these different people had him all the time and talked to him and loved him. And he donated millions and millions of dollars to the Democrat Party and they loved him for it. And then he ran for president as a Republican. Oh my goodness. He flipped the world upside down. He flipped the world upside down. This evil deep state organization just got so upset that now this man was doing something that was contrary to where he was on the other side now. And they began to try to uncover everything but the kitchen sink. Few things were true, but almost everything was a lie or based on a lie. You got to understand, not everything that they said he's done, even civil cases that he has lost, he didn't do. And I'm not saying that for any other reason other than I know that I know that I know. God says he didn't do that. Most of everything that they have tried to go after him for, he didn't do. His family didn't do. But they're going after him anyway. Why is that? See, that's the thing. I don't know about you, but that's the thing. And when he became president, he did one of the most miraculous things I have ever seen in a president. He fulfilled Promise after promise after promise after promise after promise. And I want you to understand something. When he did this, he caused me 
to have this okay. Hallelujah. Now, God said that he was going to win and become president. And I believe God's hand was upon him for that. So when he became president, he fulfilled things. I believe he was anointed to be president. Then the 2020 election came forth. And I tell you, it was a show. It was so many things happened. You say, well, what about this? Was it fraud? Was it this? Well, I don't even want to get into that garbage. All I know is we had this puppeteer four-year term that's not even done yet of some of the most embarrassing president of our lifetime. And all these things were taking place. And I want you to understand all this stuff that happens. It, it, it's just mind-boggling that this person who couldn't even get 100 people to show up to a rally, supposedly got over 80 million votes. And all kinds of stuff took place. And we have been in this downward spi spiral for the last three and a half years plus. And then we have Kamala, who has done nothing. Who has done absolutely nothing. Not even things she's been tasked to do. She has been tasked to do things and has done nothing. Well, let me tell you something. You know, a lot of people get exposed for the real person that they are, and this woman has been exposed. She has literally talked against Christianity. She has said things against Christians. So I can't imagine for a moment, unless you're brainwashed, by the media and all the stuff that's going on, how any Christian could vote for Kamala. It is beyond me that anyone in their right mind would vote for this lady. There's a lot of skeletons in this woman's closet. There's an evil backing that she has. There's all kind. Biden was a puppet, is a puppet. He's not president. He's, he's, he's just the person that they're pulling the strings for. And I guarantee you, Kamala would be worse than him. Because she has some decision making she can make at the same time. And there is evil within her heart. She's been exposed for who she really is. And we need to keep that woman as far away from the White House as we can from this election forward. God promised we would have a woman president in the days ahead. Kamala is not one of them. God also said, hallelujah, and I've really heard this, that if Hillary would have won in 2016, millions and millions of people would die upon American soil. Millions and millions. I'm talking about millions and millions of people would die by an attack upon American soil. I'm not talking about COVID. I'm talking about military. God said to me, if Kamala wins, there would be millions and millions plus, more than what would have happened with Hillary would happen upon American soil. And I'm telling you, this cannot happen. Now, as far as me and my house, I really believe I have good belief for this. I did also for the last election with all the stupidity and chaos that took place. But I'm telling you, with this one there, I, I just see, I see this snowball taking place like nobody's going to be able to stop it this time. Now there is plans. The enemy does have plans to try to do things to try to either stop the election or postpone election results and all these different things, just like the, in the last election. So we as prayer warriors need to pray for that to be stopped. Why would they do it unless they're losing? And that's what's happening right now. So for those that are watching, keep your eye on Pennsylvania, Michigan. Those are two of the most critical places to watch. Hallelujah. Georgia was supposed to be one of those that we need to keep an eye on, but I really believe that there's a lot of things that's being straightened up in Georgia. Hallelujah. So understand there's so much garbage that's been going on for such a long time 
that we need to begin to keep our eyes open and peeled for such a time as this. If you're poll watchers, watch. And don't let anybody try to get you out. Whatever's going on, stay firm. The, the, the race that is set before you because of what's going on. This is the most critical election of our lifetime. This is the most uh, uh, critical time of our lifetime. There are so many things, even other nations, you need to understand something. What happens in America affects the world. So when you have some terrible climate and, and terrible atmosphere and terrible uh, economy and terrible infl inflation, it begins to happen all over the world. Costs just go through the roof. Why? Because what's happening in America affects the world. So if you want our groceries to go down, if you want gas to go down, if you want the power bills to go down, if you want all these things, then Donald Trump is your choice. I believe God might not like everything about Donald Trump, but he has chosen for such a time as this to be the man that is in our White House because he will not be moved. There is no reason whatsoever that this man would even think for a moment, I would rather go down this hard road and have all this stuff come at me. If he would just have just dropped out of the race and just went on his way, I guarantee you the tide would have turned concerning him and his family. All the, the, the chaos and the courts and everything else would probably have just disappeared. Why? Because it's not about him. It's about you. And he, they're going after him to affect you. Affect you, the people. So no matter what the polls say, no matter how many votes are coming in, no matter how many early voting takes place, you need to get out and vote, and you need to vote Donald J. Trump. I've never put it out like this so strong before. And I just felt today was a day, as I was releasing that prophetic uh, nugget, that I was led to release another prophetic nugget. And we're going to get into some details of some things that I really believe that we really need to hear. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Hello to you. Okay, understand this. Why do certain people support certain people? You cannot, in your right mind, watch certain things and know whether or not they're good or evil sometimes. But some things, it's obvious. You watch The View for 10 seconds and you already know there's nonsense. And there's an evil heart. Because everything that is contrary to God, his word, they're about. And if they are that disturbed, then why in the world would anybody think if they're talking against Donald Trump, then they must be right? It's just, come on. It's not, this is not an election about Republican or Democrat. This is an election about good versus evil. And this is an election, some of the things I talked about that, that God wants to release upon the earth. There are things that Donald Trump actually will be able to do that will cause some of those things to begin to happen upon the earth. Decisions that he will be able to make over the next several years is going to be able to cause all the things that God has already said is going to happen to be released. Now, I could say, well, God said he's going to win. But I want you to understand, that's not what I want to do here. What I'm doing here is telling you this is a time we need to stand up, stand firm, 
get all the blinders off, get all the things that are trying to cover your ears and really open your eyes to see. Because it's not that hard to see that they're not just after a man. They're trying to stop something from happening. Why would they try to stop something just so much from happening? Nobody has ever had as much come against them running for president as this man has. Why? Wouldn't you want to know why? When you're playing sports, let's just say, when you're playing sports and all these different people, if you're really good at what you do and you actually could cause some damage upon the other team, they, they just, they give you pressure. Hallelujah. They give more pressure on that one player. And right now, this demonic fortress of the deep state control is putting all their eggs in one basket against Donald J. Trump. So why is that? I say it's because they are scared. And no, just as much as he was able to do in the first four years, that if, if he gets in, he's going to do much more. And let me tell you something. If Donald Trump ends up in that White House, as I, the Lord, I right here before the Lord and believing for, I want you to understand something. He is going to do more and be able to do more, and God is going to do more than he did in his first presidency. What he is going to be able to accomplish, it would be like he had 16 years of presidency. It's going to be unheard of victories, unheard of celebrations, unheard of breakthroughs, unheard of economy, unheard of gas prices, unheard of grocery prices, unheard of. I'm talking about the lowest of the low prices and the cost just plummeting down and your finances being worth more, even the dollar bill going up. You say, where's your, all your information on that? called Jehovah God and I'm telling you we are in a very critical time a critical hour this is the most critical time and the most critical hour don't just vote for Donald Trump because of some selfish thing don't vote for the other one because you have some kind of hatred based on a lie or something the media has brainwashed you if you don't think that you're brainwashed, turn off CNN, turn off MSNBC, turn off all these, even Fox News, turn all of these news places off and just disconnect from it for a minute. And watch and listen to Donald Trump. And try to be open for a moment. Because a man who has what he has financially and a family and a wife has no reason in anyone's right mind to stay in this election just to be a president unless there's a bigger picture taking place. So allow the unfolding and the truth to set you free. Now, I pray that the YouTube control doesn't just try to suppress this video like they had the others. Anything I say about Donald Trump, it's like nobody can hear it. It's like, hello. So I pray that they will just allow this video to go to and fro. But if not, and you have luckily fell upon this, it's also on Rumble where there's no suppression where there's just a release and it can be as popular as it wants. So understand this is a very critical hour and you don't need to just vote for Donald Trump because of what's going on right now. You need to vote for Donald Trump because of the future. Your children, your children's children, your family, it's all based on this. If you have family in the military, we need Donald Trump. Otherwise, I tell you, Kamala's gonna get us into a war and it's going to be a World War III like you've never seen. 
I'm not just saying that. This is how this woman thinks. This is how the puppeteers think. Why? Because they're going to use another war if they have a chance. They're going to use it to launder money, to do a bunch of critical things, to do a bunch of evil tasks. And it's just going to cause a lot of things to happen. And there's going to be millions of souls lost. And it's just going to be like, whatever, I got richer. And see, that's the difference. Because every presidential person has made or increased in finances while they were president, except for one Donald Trump. He has a lot less money now than what he had in 2016. Think about that for a minute. And it's not just because of all these ignorant things in the courts. It's been that way for a while. So think about that for a minute. Hopefully you're getting some common sense about some of this. And understand some of this is just me sharing as a man of God. Some of this is God says. Some of this is just... You got to know the truth. There's so much deep stuff that I could get into about some things that's been going on for such a long time that have already been exposed greatly over the last many years. But you got to understand, we need to be on the right path as America. We need to be, and the world needs America to be on the right path. And this is the way. This is the way. So, 2024, November 5th, vote Donald Trump. Keep an eye on the election. Pray to break off every hindrance, every delay, every lie, every fraud, everything that is not of God. Pray for that to be broken in Jesus' mighty name. Because I don't know about you, but we cannot continue on the path that we are on now. Because country is not in a good place. Over 70% of America believes we are on the wrong path. So if that is the case, we don't. if we get Kamala, it's four more years of the same. She has no plan other than to continue down this spiral. And that's what I stopped her for today. God bless you. And I really hope to see you in the next one. God bless you.